Hi, I'm Surf. This is Jane with Jane Lane Design. Um, just wanted to, to give you a quick tutorial about um, working with your navigation. Um, WordPress has an interesting way of, um, of sort of making sure that <clears throat> your navigation is put together with like a two-step process. So um, when you're including items into your actual navigation bar. So one of the things I was sort of working on with AmpSurf is trying to get these top level items um, a little more streamlined. So not having so many top level items, I think is, is um, really nice. Um, just a little bit cleaner for the user, the visitor of your website. In fact, I would love to put friends somewhere, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, no, I'm not even sure if I guess if I knew where to put it, I would have put it there already. But um, keeping these these top level items as um, as few as possible, I think is a nice way to keep a, a nice, clean looking, attractive website. So how do we do that? Um, what we do is when we have pages um, and posts. Um, these are all of our website content, and and here's here's what we have going on right now. Um, this home page is actually excess, so I'm going to put that in the trash. Um, um, and that was one thing I would love to do is uh, with, with AmpSurf is just making sure that if you um, accidentally or otherwise create um, a page that you don't think is, is useful anymore or is a duplicate, just to make sure to delete it. Um, that way we don't have so many uh, pages in here and we don't have so much clutter, which I think can add to the, uh, you know, making just working with the website a little bit overwhelming for everybody that's gonna have to continue to work in here. Um, so I was careful about not deleting stuff that uh, was um, events in the past. So uh, perhaps if, if this is an event, for instance, that may come back around, you can at least copy the content that was created in there. All right, so once a page or a post is created, um, I'm going to click on this volunteer with AmpSurf East. Of course, you'll save it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and once it's updated or added, it doesn't automatically get added up here in the navigation bar, which is a good thing because we don't want things to just sort of be placed up there randomly. But instead, what you would do is you'd go over here to Appearance and Menu. And this is the structure of your menu. So we've got, these are our top level. Everything that's far left over here is our top level. So Donate, Events, Friends, Media, Get Involved, and Contact. And if we go over here, we'll see the same structure. Donate, Events, Friends, Media, Get Involved, and Contact. Anything that is secondary, for instance, sponsors is secondary to friends, articles is, and um, picture and pictures and video are secondary to media. We'll see that same structure over here. So those are our sub sub levels or child levels of the primary level, or the top level. So what's great about WordPress is it's really easy to create that secondary element. So all I've got to do is, for instance, with sponsors, if we want to make that a top level, I'm going to just shift it over here to the left, and now that's a top level. And if I were to save it, then we would see that reflected on the home page. I'm going to put that back. Other things we can do is even create another level beneath sponsors. For instance, if I wanted to take media and say, well, I want to have media and even these two sort of nested underneath, I just push it over here and you can see how it just sort of nests it right underneath there. I'm going to go ahead and put that back so it doesn't get saved. So in order to add a, a page that we've added recently, um, we, we would just choose from one of these options. So on this top level, what's really great, and it's just got all these different options in here, it's almost too many options, but instead of view recent, I'm going to click to view all. These are all the pages. Now remember, these are the pages that are in, in WordPress. So if we want to add a page that we've recently added or um, changed or we want to include in the menu, we would add that here. 
if we added something to the menu, we could select, um, this is our home page. So we'll go ahead and add it just as an example. I would add it to the menu. It's gonna end up here. Um, well, it's gonna put it right here on the top. And then we would just decide where it goes in order. So we can just drag it around and place it wherever we wanna place it. Instead of leaving that, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay, so that's if we're adding a page. Um, if we're adding posts, interestingly, we would add a custom link. So if we had just a post and, and that we wanted to add, and remember that um, in the earlier video I showed you how to add um, a post, we would find the URL. For instance, let's say we just wanted to use, um, let's get to go to this event. And then I'm going to select this post. And then I would grab this URL. Um, I selected edit copy. And then I would come over here and add the URL. And then add it to the menu. So that's our custom, our custom URLs or our custom um, links. We can add things by categories. So events. And that's actually how we've added our events over here. We just added the category events and we added that to the menu and then placed it accordingly. And when we were done, we made sure to click save. Now, one of the things I didn't cover in the previous um, video, and it's actually really critical, is when you're adding a top level, it's like WordPress has this great feature now um, that makes sure that when you've done anything, it doesn't want you to not save it. So um, I'm aware that I don't want it to be saved. So I'm going to click, go ahead and leave the page. But um, one of the things I didn't cover in the first video that's really critical about adding your events is making sure that you select the category events. When you do that, then it will continue to automatically be placed in this category um, page up here included in your menu. So everything that's included here is included only because this category has been selected and then saved. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, thank you for listening.